Hello guys and welcome to the third instalment in my Christmas gift guide series this year. This is the I'm most important of all one. your gift guides by a mile. Because, because Mike is here, basically. No, no, because it's for the boys. Okay. And we have to make sure that we get it right. So hence why I'm here to adjudicate. You have to make sure that you get the best present ever. Just throwing it out there. This is my favourite Christmas jumper this year. Nice. Maternity Christmas jumpers, guys, are awesome. Check this out. It's the best present ever. <laughs> pretty um, cool. But yeah. I mean, what's wrong with some little penguins? And, you know, and snowmen. You don't have penguins Do I not have on penguins? There? I thought I had penguins They're on robins. It. They're robins, obviously. I you thought it was penguins. penguins. I thought I saw penguins. Maybe it's the snowman. Oh. Missing out, missing out. Maybe I've so, not got the best job. So, today we're talking about our top 10 Christmas gifts for him. So, if you want to know what to buy your other half, your dad, your Listen brother. To, me. to be fair, like, I feel like some of these gifts, definitely quite a few of them are unisex as well, as with the girls' ones. So, yeah, quite right. But we've always done it this way. Way, haven't we? So why not? I'm gonna start seeing as Mike has a cup of tea in his hand, Little. and he never actually makes me a cup of tea. He didn't even offer to make me a cup but of tea. But you don't drink it, so How just go cold rude. and it's to be a waste of a perfectly good tea bag. So I'm gonna start with a fancy little gadget that I found. Um, that is almost affordable enough to go into the stocking filler gift guide, which is the one that's coming up next. But I put it in this because it was twenty five pounds. I think didn't it's really cool. It's the world's thinnest USB charge cable. I personally would quite like this myself. It's basically thin enough to fit in your wallet, but it's a USB phone charger. It's pretty cool. Pretty nifty. Good little present for guys that like gadgets or that have everything, like this one. Don't know what I you mean. think. And also, before Mike starts with his first gift, we are going to be giving away some of the biggest and best gifts from all of the gift guides this year. Um, we did the same thing last year. I did it on my Instagram and it worked really well. In previous years, I've done it on YouTube and it's been a little difficult to actually manage and a lot of people didn't end up claiming their gifts and I had to get second winners and things like that but on Instagram it works much better so if you want to win some of these awesome gifts then head over to my Instagram which is at Flo Horse. and I mean they can win your five not I, my five they know actually some of yours as well you're not allowed to keep them as per usual every so, year we have this Mike's like I get to keep these right I'm like no Mike because Mike's. I've done such a good job well, I'm going <laughs> to start with something that's a nice little warming number okay. for a Christmas Mike day says I don't quite know how I, I actually bought this yeah but I Mike recommended it. requested it I recommended it you did the buying I just okay. did the recommending but I mean I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this but it is a very snuggly it's dressing it's the world's gown. softest oh, dressing gown it just gown. makes you want to just just curl up yeah. inside. <laughs> I can imagine a certain little someone when they arrive would very much like to be cuddled in this. Um, Piglet would love it. Piglet also would love it. But it's from M&S. It's, it's yeah. £39.50. Good value for a very, very comfy dressing gown. It is super, super soft. Oh, it's, it's the same just... as the Rosie for Rosie Hunter and Whiteley for M&S girls ones, but it's like... It's really good. It's black. Very nice. It is black. I and like it, it has a hood. Which Always good, because is... you need a hood. Of course you do. Um, my next pick is the Shake Shack cookbook. I freaking love Shake Shack. They make seriously good burgers. I wish they had an In-N-Out cookbook though, I have to say like, I think In-N-Out, I prefer slightly better to Shake Shack. But I saw this and I was like, that would be such a good gift for guys that love burgers, people that love Shake Shack in general. It has all of the recipe, oh my God, look at that. I want to eat that right now. Um, it has all of the recipes of like how to make their burgers, how to make their milkshakes, which are off the chain how to make their custard, which is like their ice cream. Um, and it's got like a bit of a story of how Shake Shack started and all of that jazz. So I thought this was really cool. I found this in Urban Outfitters actually, um, but I'm sure you can get it on like, Amazon. Good. What have you got to Fine. show me next? So my, we're not giving this one away because this is mine. And if you can <laughs> tell by how little is left, it shows how much I use it. And this is the Armani fragrance. Um, Stronger with you. Yeah, it's the only fragrance I think I've ever had many people say, ooh, what are you wearing? Like, even friends, even chaps have said to me, ooh, what are you wearing? That even smells really chaps. good. Not, so even not just other the guys. ladies. <laughs> even other guys have said, I just think I it is. I hope not all the ladies oh, are the like, ladies. oh yeah, it smells so good, MDF. When I say all the ladies, I mean Fleur, Squidge, Treacle, obviously. All the ladies um, in your life. But it, does it smell is really good. really, really good. And mm. I have worn that nearly every day since it arrived. And I'm wearing even more. You really don't need to do that because now I smell like a brothel. It's quite nice. Oh, you can smell mm. me through the camera. I actually do really like it. And every time Mike wears it, I'm always like, what, are you, are you wearing the Armani fragrance again? Yeah. And it's it. it. 
I it's a personalised like, one. Is You've great. only had this for a couple of months. You've used up like nearly all the bottles. Yeah, it's good. Good. It's that good. Highly recommended. So my next pick is a pair of Vans Old Schools. I've actually got the like classic black and white ones, but I spotted these the other day and I really, really like them. I mean, controversial I'm personally. not sure Mike's going to like them. I, 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 but like, when you I say think... I'm not sure I'm going to like them, I can, I can tell you, you now. Like I don't like them, no. Mike doesn't like Vans, but I really like these. These are like the... I can't remember what they're called. They're blocked black and white fans. I think they're so cool. They've got like the outline stitch. They're all black canvas. I, mean, I agree for vans. They are very nice, but I'm just not. But you just don't like vans. Okay, well then you're just not cool. So that's fine. Just, um, we know that already. I also found these in Urban Outfitters and they were, they said they were 57 pounds. You know, you have the moment where you take them to the till mm -hmm. and they were 30 pounds. I was like, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. Oh, I mean, they said they're more than that on there. They say yeah, 57. 57. I so, told you. But they said they were 57. I took them to till and they were 30. I, I, think, great I think that might have just been Pure they luck. were on sale because there were there was only two pairs left. So maybe they were like getting rid of them. But you can get them online. I really like these. I personally am going to give these to my brother for Christmas because I think he'll really like them. Yeah. I Hence I bought them in his size and not yours because I knew you wouldn't like them. Well done. My next one. Ooh, what it's have you got so there, goody. Sir? So. Okay, every year we have this kid's kids present because Mike have, is basically well, I think five. On the basis now we've got a, a little girl on the way, you <laughs> have to have the ultimate kids toy in your gift guide and what yeah, better for toys. every little girl than a gun. Yes. So. <laughs> okay Mike. Okay so obviously as I've put you in other gift guides. It's she's red. gonna be like not even born at Christmas but also like not old enough to play with this for many years. That's just not true. Um so I've put Nerf guns in before, and obviously Nerf guns are amazing, uh, but this has these little, like, golf ball things that it fires at you that are, like, foamy. Are they hard? No, they're, like, foamy. I thought you meant they were actually, like, golf no, balls. No, it's not a golf ball. I know, but that is so going to hurt. Yeah, yeah, it hurts more. So, they, you're supposed to wear them like a little mask and play around. I am so excited to play with one of these and have all that wall. Are these meant for kids or adults? They look like, are they actually going to hurt you? I think a bit of both. Like, look at this kid dressed up. Yeah, he's quite side. hardcore. Look. He's actually got like a mask and stuff. Yeah, but look, they do, I mean... he's not willing to show you his... Like, we'll show you in the close-up. Yeah, in the close ups But it's just awesome. I mean, this gun would be the most fun of all that war. And it's kind of like paintballing and BBs, but not quite as extreme as those two. And okay. you don't get as messy as paintballing. So and these are about £40, aren't they? £40. Pounds, you can go crazy and get mega ones that are even more expensive. I think for £40, this would have... You'd have so much fun with on Christmas. I think this is amazing. I think we need to get one for like you, Dan, and Al, and then you can have a war at Christmas. It's like music. The to kids would be ears. jealous. My next pick is a slightly more geeky game. Um, I love Monopoly at Christmas. The rest of my family hate it and refuse to play it with me. That's because but... you cheat. It's because you cheat every time you play. She's oh, one for you, one no, for me. No, they don't refuse to. They don't refuse to play with me because I cheat. I'm basically I, like, I win because I cheat. They refuse to play with me cheat. because they don't like board games. But my theory this year is, if I get Game of Thrones Monopoly, which they all love, maybe they'll play Monopoly with. Can me. I just point something out? It says for ages 18 plus. I, I, why? It does seem quite. It's quite extreme. How, what have they got like? I don't know. Violence. Nudity. I mean, how can you? Yeah, I don't understand that. Fair enough. Like. Game of Thrones is probably 18 plus, but I don't really get how. Jon Snow. Yeah, maybe Jon Snow gets real in it. I don't know. Anyway, Game Many... of Thrones Monopoly. This is this is on my Christmas wish list. It's a very good this present. Year. So, I would say it's on my Christmas wish list, but I may have already bought it for yourself. For myself. And, and... then I spent the last three weeks playing with it. Yeah, and there is something else that's coming up in a minute, which kind of goes with this, which is insane, but. As you all know, I'm a PlayStation 4 fan, and the new As Gran they Turismo all know. Sport... They might not well know from your no, one, one appearance a year talking about games. But, <laughs> I hope so, but I've put in the old Gran Turismo years ago, and this is the new version for the PlayStation 4. It is incredible for a driving simulator game to put in your little driving seat, or even with your controller, and with the new controllers you can actually Because use so many people have driving seats. No, but, but the, new, the controllers now, with the, with the sort of all the cameras and stuff, you can actually use them as a steering wheel. Oh, really? So you don't actually have to have a steering wheel now. Obviously I do, because so I'm a child. So but technical. this is so much fun to play, just as good as all the old ones, a bit more online features with it, which makes it really cool that you can battle with everyone and beat it. So my last and final gift this year, and the most expensive one, but also one that we're going to be giving away over on my Instagram, is this 
little badger. This is the DJI Spark. It's a drone. I feel like drones were kind of the thing of last year in terms of YouTube and like making your videos look super fly and epic. And there's been, in my opinion, kind of a gap in the market between like pre professional drones and the like, um, like toy goes. ones. Mm. This is like a more affordable version of the professional ones. It basically has pretty much like all the similar features to the like super expensive thousand pounds ones, but it's a bit more affordable. And I think if you're into your photography, videography, drone action, drone pilot action, then this is cool. I must admit, I don't know a great deal about drones as I don't really play with them, um, but that looks epic. I, it's cute, isn't it's, it? It's like it's a mini really, one. I mean, cute's not something I normally look at in a present personally, but I would cute. say it is It is a really cool Mike's present. like, nah, it's cute. It, it's cool. It's not as cool as what I've got down here though, which is the Just piece realize of this one is red as well. It says on the back it's red. We're giving away a red drone, guys. Red drone, so. We are also giving this away. Do we have to? We have to, you're not keeping it. Really, really want one of these. But I think gaming has gone on to new levels and the new level with the PlayStation is a VR headset. Do you reckon this is what all gamers are wanting for Christmas? I think so, to go with. It's actually not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. I think these were out last Christmas, but they're more they expensive, were. right? No, they they were out last Christmas, but we just didn't put it in um, because you didn't kind of understand how cool they were. <laughs> okay, and now you've bad. finally come round. Um, our little, uh, my little godson has this, and he loves it. It is the coolest thing ever. The only problem that comes with it is if you have a two-player game and you've got friends round, you're on your it's own, really so you need to get two of them, potentially. <laughs> you're like, hang on mate, sorry, I'm just gonna put on my VR headset. Yeah. You can just sit you there. You just sit and, and watch it on the me. TV and just play like on your, by yourself, but so I'm gonna watch this. I tried to do that with me the other day. He was Did like, he? yeah, come and play with my PlayStation Weber and put his VR headset on. I was like, this is good fun. I'm just gonna go and have a cup of tea. But for gaming, I've, I've been on the HTC VR headsets and they are insane. This obviously is compatible with PlayStation only. And, you know, just for general PlayStation use and awesomeness, this is the coolest thing ever. Um, one day we'll actually be able to be inside a game, but this is the closest you're going to get. And this set that we're giving away has VR Worlds. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that's really all that important, VR Worlds. I think it's more the fact that you've got the VR headset and you've got the cam PlayStation camera, so it literally is ready yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it generally, this is the coolest thing ever. and. I'm very jealous because I'd very much like one of these. Even oh though we have a projector, my, sad times. I'd like one of these very much. That is going to be it for this video, guys. There are, they are our top 10 gifts for guys this year. We hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already seen my top 10 gifts for her, my beauty gifts, they are both live now, so you can go and check those out. I'll link them below. And later this week or next week, I can't remember which way around we're doing this video, um, we're also going to be putting up our top 10 or top 12 this year we did 12, stocking fillers. So if you want to see what our like top presents under 20 pounds are, then head over and check that out um, a little bit later in the week. And we'll see you very soon. It's nearly Christmas. Well, almost kind of. Merry Christmas.